ninth hit, you just bonk with the first one. Whatever you yeah. press or whatever you're waiting for, your entire like your entire reaction time has to like shift to that. So it's just it just becomes right. really hard. Seems like we're gonna be getting into it. Game number one between Light and Goblin going up against Gluto and Leo. This is gonna be an exciting one. Gluto trying to get something going with that uh foil out of shield. Gonna be a little bit unsafe on hit. Now you got those Goy combos. Up ooze, up ooze, and back ooze. Gluto stuck in a corner, finally able to make it back on and catch that up B with a well placed up tilt. Ooh, and we see the Mithra F smash coming in really early. That's actually really good just because one, obviously, of course, the frame data is crazy. And it's not even that the knockback matters, but the positioning you're gonna get from that on both Roy and Fox is really, really important. Light is just waiting. He is, mm -hmm. he is honed. He is so precise. He is so patient. He's not committing in a little bit too soon. He's waiting for something to happen to Goblin, and he's oh there to help him. Lord. But what a follow-up off the down throw, nonetheless. It looked like he was way too early, but it's just so active. Even swinging it before the throw had even started, it still was able to steal that stock. Yep. Okay, right, now Goblin needs to find a way to be able to land here. Gluto applying all this platform pressure, using his bike as a bit of an opening. Goblin going to be stuck at the ledge, going to be continuously stuck at the ledge. And uh, Leo going to be missing that pivot grab. Not really sure what the intention was. Ooh, Gluto definitely getting bullied a little bit. But of course, Mithra, as I was saying, uh, probably the best character in the game to come through and save you. But speaking of come through, Goblin came right up through with that up air. I think he got the sweet spot on it too. Killed pretty early. Almost getting the down smash there. I think Light pressed a little bit too soon. Now you're offstage against Wario. Not able to actually get the hit that he needed. That trade coming in so clutch for Light. And now you see Gluto doing the same exact yes. thing. Just waiting for something to happen to Leo so he can help out uh, when needed. Yeah, we might be seeing a little bit of shift in the doubles meta. Ooh! And the waft is going to come through and kill both of the other team. That is huge. That is a huge yep. deficit for them to come back from right now. Oh, only getting the back hit of the up smash. I also think Wario is just heavy enough to be able to live that either way. Now has a uh, light off stage. This could Here be it. Go. Really good tracking. Look at this coverage and then missing the F tilt. Light didn't go immediately to the ledge. He delayed it a little bit by going slightly above. Right, right. He's lucky to only walk out of that with 78% on him. Like, that's insane. And Gluto's ledge trapping is just so incredibly good. He's so good about catching with those bears, those F tilts, and just setting up like a rinse and repeat. None yep. of it's really too committal for Wario if he's wrong. And the entire time, of course, he is still building up Wario. Mm -hmm. And I think he only got like half waft when he got that double kill too. So like half waft <laughs> is probably online right about now. <laughs> They're both so scared at that moment. Are you gonna press him? I gonna press a button? And it like just jumps and is able to get the back here. The shield looking so small, just able to get a shield poke any day of the week. Light side B spacing has been so safe, so ambiguous, mm -hmm. and still gonna be living past the back here. Wow. Yeah, I definitely think that double waft ended up kind of body and green team. They're not fully out of this yet, but this is this is a mountainous deficit to come back from. Yep. With a character like Pyro, who's able to just swing out these huge hitboxes, as we're seeing. And we're going to see an up smash. Okay, oh. they kind of beefed the team combo a little bit. Uh, Goblin has one last chance to kind of figure something out, but oh, this is definitely it. You can just F smash. What? What is going on? Not y'all labbing in, in loser semis trying to find a fun team combo. Like, I wonder if this works, buddy. Like, y'all are in loser semis of an S tier. On, like. on Goblin, nonetheless, who like just grabs Goblin in the middle of a set? like, I'm going to lab, so I'm going to figure this out. Yo, they're literally, <laughs> yo, <laughs> they're actually playing with their food. And if nothing else, I feel like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? You know what? You know what? Goblin's <laughs> still living. <laughs> I never took those Leos or pseudo wash tweets seriously, but that's the one I'm like, yo. Best player in the world, yes. Best player in the world, Asterix. wash, because he couldn't <laughs> combo <laughs> off of Wario throws. He literally could have just done Pirate F Smash anytime. He's like, yeah, I just want to see what happens. Yeah, so what. What keeps happening, I feel like Gluto keeps like throwing a little bit too soon, <laughs> activating like all of that throw armor, and then Leo has just. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <It's> why? <laughs> Porque. And and what's funny is the first grab was like into that up throw, up smash. Even though it was yeah. like a little bit late, I'm like, oh wow, they have their team combos lapped out. Yeah. I said in in my mind, and then we saw that. But you know what? If you're up they and had up against... them lapped out, but they were just trying something All else right. too. They they trying to they trying to lab it even further. But we'll be going on to game number two here. I feel like the fact that Gluto and Leo were able to do that speaks to the confidence, speaks to the yeah, momentum. Yeah, yeah. That's so Oof. much mental damage like knowing that they're just like kind of toying with their food against two like top 10 top 15 level players like that's insane to me yeah for sure but just like that gonna be getting the jump call out backs off a little bit says hey you know what i'm gonna go help my teammate out i don't care about this edge guard i can put you out of commission for just long enough now gluto just gonna be looking for some sort of a hit here goblin has not been able to land safely in a minute but a little bit too far through the upper to connect from gluto yeah it really looks like gluto has just been in goblin's head like he's just been waiting so patiently for goblin to press literally any button Ooh. and roy has fantastic buttons but he's just been playing really defensively and just mm -hmm. kind of bodying him in the neutral by just literally just waiting for goblin to breathe yeah 
Yeah, and Goblin has just Ooh. not been able to land in a good solid minute here and still going to be getting whiff punished over and over. Gluto in the best position to do that. Does not get the poke. I like the attempt nonetheless. Now just being a little bit patient at the ledge, getting his jump called out. Goblin target switching. So, so good. That was ah, so well played. Come into that side B. It definitely looked like he wanted to stop it for the fourth hit of that, but uh, Gluto was able to come in through mm -hmm. with the punish. But the F tilt, still alive though, still hanging on to this yeah. first stock. But They're able to bait out the goal. Leo was there ready to cover the goal back on while Gluto covered everything else with the, you know, with the new trilby. That was That was excellent. I kind of wonder if Green Team is just going to... They don't look that scared of being grabbed anymore because I feel like they shouldn't be. Like They, they seem to mostly not have these yeah. combos at the ready. Oh, jumping back on like that a little bit too bold. Goblin only going to be getting the noodle hit of his up air, so he's not really going to be able to help out his teammate in time. Light backing off a little bit, just looking for an opening to get in on this, and I like that Leo did not press a button. Mm -hmm. He saw that light was behind him. He was like, you know what? Even though I parried this, even though I shielded this, and I can get a hit, he chose not to. That bear killed so early. He was only at 97. I know Fox is light, but even still, that is a huge blow to the team. Leo still in his first stop. Got them both sandwiched. Thankfully, uh, Goblin was able to sneak a back air in there because that could have been rough if she started going for those uh, F smashes that, quote, don't kill, but have already been killing in this set. Mm -hmm. I feel like that forwarder from Goblin kind of put light in a bit of a worse position because now he's in the corner. Now he's getting juggled. He needs to find a way to be able to land. Gluto was looking for it all, but he still found a tech chase with dash attack. I got to say, Gluto's and Leo's synergy is looking there so on no. point. That, okay, you know what? That team combo looked harder than the other ones they couldn't do. But it looks yeah. like now they're getting a down throw into a Pyra up smash uh -oh. specifically. Goblin's going to get put at the lab again. Oh, no. Now they're just practicing. They're taking turns, like, holding, the, holding each other's controllers. They're probably switching characters mid-match. Like, they just don't care anymore. Okay, it's time. It's time. They're just going to be looking for this grab. They're going to be looking for it. Not going to be able to get the F tilt. Going to be clanking with down tilt despite going the other direction completely. And he's got waft on deck too, just in case he needed yet another reason to like, you know, secure this game. Yeah, that spike was excellent. Cluto just backing off a little bit, playing super safely. Oh, I thought he was oh. going to go for it. I thought he was going to let it rip. I really did. Maybe he was looking for like an air dodge read. He was looking for like his bike. I don't think his bike <laughs> spawned in time Ooh. and able to get the F to go into the waft. Good stuff. Yo, that was so clean. I love that. Like, there's there's a lot of like lazier ways they could have done that, where like he just held him in place and just you know do it now, Kakarot. Like you know, done one of those. Yeah. <laughs> but like he actually just really caught him in air. And and as you've been saying earlier, because their throws have so little knockback, it's not mm -hmm. set, but it almost might as well be as far as like doubles goes. There's a lot of like free yeah. confirms you can get. It's like there's a couple of like really good grabs and doubles. I feel like to convert off of. It's always the ones that don't scale a lot. Mm -hmm. Wolga has a couple of those. You know, Pyramid of course. Um, I also feel like like Bowser's uh, like up throw and, and just F throw for like low to mid percent uh, knockback scaling. Not necessarily the best, but we're going to be going into game number three. Uh, Gluto and Leo, they're looking unstoppable. I don't know what Goblin and Light need to do. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. Like the only thing I can think of is maybe if they just kind of switch dance partners, like Goblin is just honestly not winning the neutral against Gluttony, and that's fine. You know, you have, you know, yeah. you can go... Uh, take a break by fighting MK Leo. That's not really good advice either. But like it definitely seems like Gudo's yep. got the got the neutral and it just fully commanded. So oh. I think they just gotta switch it up. Which they kinda are. You're starting mm -hmm. to see Goblin just kinda chase down Leo a little bit more instead. Okay, gonna be looking for the nuppy there, not gonna be able to find it. Goblin now just trying to play a little bit with Punishy, but Gluto's dash attack hitbox was extended. As a result, he was still able to find the finishing hit. Goblin not really able to get his whip punishes in time, and as a result, keeps finding himself juggled, keeps finding himself in disadvantage. He's looking for the big hit here, gets the jab into the back here, and just like that, Leo's first stock is gone. Yeah, really good start for the green team. Finds, looks like they're actually able to kind of get a lead going. You know, they're not in a terrible yep. position. Goblin's only at 63%. He's doing really well right now. Yeah, playing back a little bit, just waiting, and able to get a neutral air into a forwarder. You know what? Damage is damage, and he's keeping it up. Oh, yeah, and it looks like they're actually... It looks like he's really able to kind of keep uh, MK Leo trapped. Uh, mm -hmm. Mithra, even with the frame data that she has, even with foresight, even with, you know, being able to just switch out, mm -hmm. it's just getting kind of like... Uh, getting kind of oh, bullied. Oh, no! Another oh. half walk, though, is going to come through and give Gluttony that stock. Yeah, and you know what? Use it or lose it, right? You want to use that thing as soon as possible so that you can maybe get another half potentially full waft again later in the game. Gluto is so good at recognizing how early to use those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Really good stuff from Light, though, interrupting the second hit of the neutral. That could have been so bad. 
Yeah, and I think you're right on the money. Like half block might honestly be better at doubles because like maybe you're maybe in singles you save it because you're looking like for a percent window where it might kill. But yeah. there's so much damage to be spread around in doubles. Like that that window comes up so much faster. Sometimes it's better to have two good hits than one perfect hit. Exactly, exactly. It's all about winning the number of situations, not necessarily in the most optimal way possible, just good enough. And that's all that matters in fighting games. Good enough positioning, good enough damage, good enough because mm -hmm. you don't want to ever overcommit. But now Gluto Ooh. is going to be looking for the Swift Punish, is able to get it, but not a whole lot for his troubles. Yeah, I mean, well, if nothing else, uh, it's still really, really close here. I'm not exactly sure how well Light can maybe run away, but that Nair to Us match was really smart. Yep. Uh, definitely got Gluto on notice right there. Able to get a back out here, just going to be keeping him out, and you see just Goblin playing all the way back, just respecting all that with Punish range, mm -hmm. and able to get a double side B as a result. That's this huge. could be too. <gasps> Incredible save from Gluto. Uh, MK Leo was as good as dead, but being able to extend past the ledge with that up B totally reversed that situation. That was oh, that might oh, have been the oh, decider oh. of this game. And just like that, Goblin is at his last stock. He's all by himself. This is, I mean, this could really easily be curtains at this point, but they got to start this damage somehow. And up throw is going to be the move of choice. Look at these follow-ups. Oh Look at this damage. Yo, still? That was insane. 76% for one minor, minor mistake from Goblin. Definitely looks like Leo and Gluto are super locked in. You were not kidding about these people being insane in loser's bracket. I mean, it's one of those things you know, but God, seeing it live, it just it just hits a little bit different. Uh, I'm not going to oh, lie. Uh, uh, well, maybe not. You maybe not. Is, maybe not. You have on that, man. I, the worst superpower ever. God, my commentator's curse is on fire right now. I'm, you know, sorry to this man. Well, it looks like... Oh. <laughs> off of what? Uh, Was that like... Last hit Nair, I think. Yeah, Hold show on. me, show Hold me, on. show me the Carfax because I want to, I want to see that. That was not a normal. Yo, Gluto really just. He was just like, hey, you can have this stock too. I'm good with that. He's like, you got it, bro. So let me, let me see what actually happened here, right? So we're gonna go back into this. Up yeah, so. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It was up air, up air. Oh, okay. I think it was up air, up air. But yeah, Something I definitely caught me off lines. guard too. But um. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was really well played from Light and Goblin, but it looks like at the end of the day, they just got very, very slightly outclassed. I'm not going to say fully outclassed because obviously they're both gods themselves, but um, it just looked like they had a really strong yeah. command of the neutral. Their team combos were coming through a lot more than the other squad. Gluttony just said, I don't need to be here for this. This could have been an email. I'm out. <laughs> just decided to uh, let uh, Leo have a little bit of yeah. the glory, I guess. Yeah, uh... Honestly, that up beef from Gluto was everything. That was the thing. That was the definitive moment. That was yes. the turning point in this match. Uh, because I, I got hit by that. When I'm seeing like a pile of Mithra fall down like that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the only thing in my mind is like, oh, I want to get this hit. I want to get this kill. That's a dead pile of Mithra. Right. But then Gluto, that clutch, that was just the biggest clutch moment ever. Yeah, it was huge. Okay, Falling is Falling back. Up Wait, is that back? Oh, God. Falling back into up -er. I do believe Goblin had enough time to be able to get an air dodge here, though. Yeah, I, I don't think he was ready for that follow up at all. Like even if he had mashed up being like maybe traded, it could have been okay. Well, he's that neutral. Game. No, that's that. That's back. In. Okay. That's back. In, yeah. Thank you. Telling their arrows apart is such a challenge. Because like they're all big. They're all mm -hmm. big and circular, right? With Pyrometho and neutral, back and forward, all look like a little bit too similar. Like if you had to click the "I'm not a robot" button and they just show their aerials and like tell me which aerial this is, you're like, I have no idea, bro. <laughs> like I can't figure this out. Yeah. The AI just starts like melting and combusting. <laughs> right. You're like, can't dang, compute. nobody's logged in for weeks. What's going on? Nobody can pass. Like, help, please. Help. Uh, yeah. No, that was that was just so dominant from Gluto and Leo. The yeah. follow-ups, the combo, the synergy. They're gonna be going up against Kells and Kiwi. Uh, so they've got a pretty tough team ahead of them. For sure. But it's definitely going to be a lot harder for them to lock them down. One, because, of course, uh, Sonic's incredible speed. God, that combo was fuego. God, that was so much damage. That was so good. But, yeah, it's going to be really hard to knock them down or to lock them down because Supergirl Kells is so good at, like, just kind of just mm -hmm. being wherever she needs to be, just buzzing all over the place as Sonic. But also, Kiwi's projectiles are going to be a